good morning and welcome to Winnipeg. Now, all the snow that I got yesterday and most of it melted last night, <laughs> well, it came back. Yeah, it, it, is, it stopped snowing now, but uh, I actually had to get out there and shovel a little bit this morning. <laughs> And my surveillance monitor, instead of being a sea of green, is a sea of white. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Now, enough about the weather again. We'll talk about the sunrise. No sunrise this morning. <laughs> Not much to talk about. It just wasn't there. You can't talk about what didn't happen, right? Okay. Today, I want to try and get a little bit of railing on. We're in step 56. And uh, we need uh, a little piece on, to go on the stern here. And it's uh, photo etch B12. Uh, it's, it's right here. I think we kind of looked at it a little bit yesterday. Now, as near as I can tell here for step 56, it, it basically wants us to, as well as dropping down parts that we've already got made up, uh, it, it's, it's basically railing around the sides, around the gunnels, and that little piece on the back. And I'm just going to sort of work away at it. Um, I guess what we'll do is we'll get that B12 in place on the stern, and then we'll, we'll work our way towards the bow from, from there. Um, yeah. Oh, uh, I was thinking this morning, uh, it's probably going to be a while before we actually get to start the submarine. Uh, what was it? U-552 or something? Anyway, because <clears throat> I'm going to have to spend at least a day readjusting my, my ship case so that I can accommodate all four models. And as near as I can tell, all four will fit in there. Just, just. Uh, uh, what, what, what I'll do is we'll, I'll have the Iowa sitting right on the bottom shelf, and, and then I will evenly space the others. Uh, and I, I think that the, uh, that the mast of one is going to come right up to this to the bottom of the hull of the next one but uh, at least they'll all be in there it, it's either that or I put the leave it the way it is and and put the Iowa on the bottom but then I'd have to get another piece of glass uh, piece of plexiglass because uh, I want to keep the dust out over the years it'll get pretty caked up with dust mind you over the years who cares right Anyway, we are back here. We got our we got our Iowa back on the table. Um, so now I have to be careful again when I'm reaching over. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, I, I forget who it was. Uh, somebody was was uh, thinking that if one of these figures was to the scale of one to forty-eight, <laughs> this one looks like it might be. Uh, we we could put we could put one of me in in the uh, in the sub and uh, I want to try and keep it halfway authentic. <laughs> uh, yeah, who who would be in a German submarine in 1942 holding a digital camera and a cup of coffee? You know that just didn't happen back then. <laughs> okay, now. Uh, yeah, as far as, as far as the sub goes, uh, and for the box opening, I don't know what I'm going to do on it tonight. I'm thinking that maybe what I should do is, uh, is uh, snap pictures of the uh, manual, so that as we go through the parts, if there's something that I want to compare to what it, what it is in the manual, I'll have it already photographed. Uh, that's going to be quite a process, I'll tell you, because I'm going to have to put my my, my my thing for the camera that, that I hang the camera from, hang it from the gantry. I've still got it. I didn't throw it out. I just don't have it installed right now. And then suspend the camera down over top of the manual. At least that's the plan. I'm, I might end up using a, a tripod somehow too. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. 
uh, we'll worry about that this evening. I'll, I'll show you how I do it. <clears throat> uh, and I, I will put the uh, I will put the uh, the manual and that other pamphlet and the color call out for the for the uh, figures and so on. Uh, yeah, the the submarine seems to be have much better documentation than these uh, first four ships that I had. So uh, with these first four ships, you basically just got the manual and a color call call out for the. Um, for the for the hull and so on. We'll we'll see when we when we get into it. Now let's let's stop talking about it here. Let's uh, uh, get ourselves uh, recomposed, you might say, and uh, get our B12. And uh, uh, I think maybe what I should do is swing the ship around. I I, I deliberately put it in in the uh, on the table in this orientation so that it would match up with the manual, but really really does it matter I don't I don't think so yeah I think we I think we'll, we'll swing it around and then we'll have the camera coming in on the stern I feel much more comfortable with with the camera coming in sort of over my kind of over my left shoulder because I generally do stuff with my right hand and if I do something with my left hand I'm going to be blocking you whereas this way if I do it with my right hand which is more comfortable for me anyway uh, yeah, you get to see it better. So that's why I have it set up the way I do. And that's basically why the camera is always coming in the direction that it is. <sighs> have I beat that to death? <laughs> okay, let's, uh, let's get on here. Uh, B12. It's in here somewhere. Now, I really should take out a few minutes and, and resharpen my cutter here. It, it's, still, it's still nipping okay. I haven't uh, sharpened it over a long time. I got that. This railing is very thin. Like the rail the rails part of it are very thin. Okay, where's it holding here? I, I guess I didn't get that one. Got it now. Okay. B12. Okay. I might have a little bit of a problem going on here. I think you probably see what it is. I'm, I'm wondering, have I perhaps mounted these, these fair leads here too far towards the stern should they have been maybe more on the deck because this railing will not follow all the way around now I, I do know that on the other ships we we did cut the uh, the, uh, the the railing to match but it seems that I'm going to have to cut quite a bit of railing here and, and it okay is a post going to be in the wrong place Okay, I think it's got to go with the uh, with the pointy side up, if you know what I mean. At least that's the way we're going to do it anyway, because it's easiest to glue it to the to the gunnel that way. Um, why don't I just put a slight radius on this and <clears throat> try and get it partially right, and then see where we're going to have to where we're going to, have to cut it out. It could be that. We're going to have to cut cut the bottom railing out here and here, and then maybe the next one up as well, and then leave leave the ones in the end. That that might work. That would still give us two railings at the top. Okay, here's my thinking on this. Now I was going to remove 
the, this railing all the way along from, from right here, right along to here. L leave this post completely, of course. And they'll do the same with the next railing up. And uh, then I thought, you know, you know, why don't I leave a, a tiny little bit, little sliver attached to this center post of the bottom rail? That might sort of help with the gluing, make it a little bit stronger. Um, let, let's uh, slip on our macro lens here and uh, move right in. Now, this is one of those little small pieces of railing that in the event I didn't put it on for whatever reason, it probably nobody would notice. Okay, so I want to take it off. Now there's only one of these. Oh, it's caught. Well, okay, it doesn't matter if I bend that bottom rail, most of it's coming off anyway. Why isn't that nipping? Am I going too close, maybe? There, I think I, I, think I was going too close. Okay, now, th this one can come off right, right up by the post here. You know, I'm wondering if I maybe was to turn this over, I would be able to feel the where the post is better. Right now, I'm just sort of eyeballing it. Could have gone a little closer on that one. Okay, now this one we're going to take it off right, right at the post. And then we're going to leave a little bit here for the glue to attach to, and a little bit here. And hopefully, hopefully now, the, uh, the uh, fair leads are going to fit in here. They're pretty high. Now we we also want to put a nice bit of a, a radius in here, just 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 a very slight radius. Okay, let's uh, get something around here, and uh, we'll roll that. Okay, I think I'm just going to roll it on the manual here. This should be all right. And uh, this is a half inch dowel. Now we don't want to put too much of a radius on it; just very very slight. I'm hardly pressing down at all here. I'm just sort of eyeballing right now the the back of the of the stern of the ship, and uh, I'd sooner have it too little than than too much, because I can always make it a little bit sharper later. Okay, let's let's give that a try. It looks like maybe it could go just a little more right here. Okay, let's give that a try and, and see see what we've got here. Okay, what I'm afraid is going to happen here is that I am going to end up dropping the railing down in here. So I'm just going to put a little piece of tape here. Like that. Now, that's just to help hold the railing here. Okay, so I've got the railing. Got to get it twisted around just right here. I should maybe get a different tweezer here. Okay, I finally found my... I don't believe it. Okay, very carefully now I can reach through there. You know what? I'm going to have to remove one of these safety hoops here. Just get it out of the way. Then I can get in just a little bit better. Let's drop it in behind. Now, is this going to go... I think I've got it just about right there. No, it's not. It's not. It's not going down far enough. This uh, 
that this is too high. At least that, that's the way I'm seeing it right now from my perspective. Maybe you can see it better. I could just get that hook down in there like that. Um, yes, that means that that third railing from the bottom also has to come off. Uh, well, it's sure not going to leave very much, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm wondering if I've got these fair leads too, like I say, too far back, and yet that, that's where it indicates that they have to go. Um, uh, yeah. There's no, there's no other special markings on the decks or anything like that, so, uh, well, let's, let's take it back out and, uh, you know, if I if I wanted to go down, I've, I've got to get rid of that that third railing. Oh, I have such bad luck holding on to stuff, and then I drop it. I'm bending my crane. Yeah, I bent my crane. Well, I can straighten that later, I guess. I thought I was resting my hand on the on the uh, hoop, and I was resting it on the crane. All to get this one little piece on. Now. It's, uh, it's almost in the right place here. You know, if, if it was not bent quite as much, let me turn this just a little bit here. Straightened it out just a little bit. Let's try and drop it in place. I'm having a real hard time with this. This one is just not going well. There is too much stuff in here. Okay, I think I've almost got it. Uh, you know, maybe what I should do is th this side here is pretty much right. So why don't I maybe just CA that railing down in place. It could maybe, everything could maybe go just a little bit to the left. Doesn't want to stay there though. I just sort of wedge it in there. Okay, I think if I was to glue it right there, and then after that's cures, 
do the one on the on the left side. Well, maybe that's as good as I'm going to be able to get it. I would, I would like to have had it a little bit more over to the left. But, uh, okay. Now, a little sniff of curing agent here. Just let it wick its way down the post. And then maybe it'll let it wick down this post. Okay, that, that should uh, activate it. Okay, now you notice here where I've broken this off of the uh, off of the crane. I think I think I'm going to uh, wait until I've got the get the uh, railing completely glued on before I fix that. Okay, I'm thinking about five minutes has passed here now. And I may as well just take this right off. Our glue on the other side has cured at least enough that it's not moving when I was messing around here. Now I am wondering if I should maybe incorporate the holder down right here somehow. Or is this going to want to stay basically in the right place? Yeah, if I could put the holder down or right on that, on this, on this uh, post here, and just press it down in that little, that little notch that it doesn't want to stay in. Although, just let me look at the monitor here. Maybe that is as good as we're going to get it. shove that post into that glue. This is CA this is CA thin, you know what? I think it's probably thickened up. Okay. Push this back like that. Maybe I should have used the holder down there. This is just not activating, is it? Probably because it's it's too thick and I've got too much on there. I'd like it to just stay like that when I let go. Well, you know what? We're we're looking at fractions of a millimeter off. Uh, let's let's just quit where we're ahead. Now 
we got this center one to contend with. Um, we'll, we'll wait until the uh, left side cures and then I'll do the center. Okay, I'll try not to get my big fingers in your way here. And I've got my holder down and ready to go. And this is actually the first time I'm trying this. I've got it lined up. But this is really the first time, so I'm thinking this is going to work. There. Now I'm not going to mess with that, and I'm going to try not to bump it. What I did do was uh, I got fresh CA Thin. I threw away that other stuff that was a few days old now. Um, maybe I come in at a little bit of a different angle here. I can sort of drop it down in place, and it'll wick its way. Now, almost every time, almost in every build, in fact, I'm sure in every build, it's been suggested to me that why don't you hide your your CA your your CA glue glinting by covering it up with. Let's pull this back just a little bit here. By by covering it up with uh, flat clear, and. Uh, if I could just shove this back out towards us a little bit. There. Like that. Alright. Um, yeah, so I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to just uh, wait. I'll wait for this to dry. Uh, cure. And uh, maybe I'll put a little bit of curing agent on it here. And let it wick its way back from the, from the deck here. I don't want it to go down the stern. Well, that's, that's lots. That's lots. In fact, it's more than lots. Okay, now when, when that cures, after it, uh, everything dries up, then I'm going to uh, use some flat clear on that and just see if we can get rid of some of the glinting. Now, uh, I'm seeing it really, really bad because the light is reflecting reflecting off of it more for me than it is for you. So, uh, you know, I can definitely see the, the CA glue there. Anyway, let's uh, wait and see what happens. I, I guess we're, we're through with this now. Okay, I'm guessing about three or four minutes has passed here. And we're just going to very carefully lift off our holder down our hair. There we go. Everything stayed in place, and um, I'm looking straight down on the deck now, and it looks like the uh, curing agent has all evaporated. So uh, let's let's do the flat clear thing while we're all set up like this. Okay, I know that at first this is going to look worse because it's wet. I wonder if maybe I got too much on my brush there. This is the old flat clear. I wonder if I should be using the new stuff that I bought from Hobby Sense. Got my holder downer in the way there still. Let's get rid of that. Those of you who are expert with paint brushes you're probably cringing right now now the idea is that when that dries hopefully it's going to dry flat break my crane again.
Let it go out on the deck a little bit. And we got this this corner here. Okay, we'll take a look at that later. In the meantime, let's see if we can fix our crane here that where I broke that off. Okay, not only did I break this off, but I seem to have got a bit of a, a bend in it here. If I can sort of flatten it down. Let me check the monitor. Uh, it's almost got to be bent a little bit that way. Okay, let me check the monitor. I think, you know, I think that's about as good as I'm going to be able to get it. Now, to get rid of the glinting here, we're just going to use number 66. We won't be using the flat clear. Now, if I don't catch that on anything, it should it should cure fairly strong. And a little sniff of curing agent, just let it run down the wire. Okay, here's what's happening. Besides, it's almost one o'clock already, and all we've done is put on one little piece of railing and break another piece off. <laughs> but at least we made progress. Uh, we are going forward. Yeah, we'll eventually get there. We'll eventually get to the U-boat. Now, I remember what it is that I was going to mention, and I forgot. It was when I was talking about, you know, rebuilding the case or adjusting the the, the racks for the, for the uh, ships in the case. And I was gonna make a little joke that only Tennessee Jim and I know about. <laughs> and that is that I'm gonna get to use my hollow chisel mortiser when I reposition the pegs that are on those, on those uh, uprights. And, and that'll probably be the third time now since uh, I bought that hollow chisel mortiser that I got to use it. <laughs> Or maybe I should say wanted to use it. Yeah, one of those tools that I just had to have in my workshop. <laughs> okay, I'm going to call it quits for today. Uh, I haven't done any editing since the opening scene this morning. I have no idea how much footage I got. I got a feeling I got a lot. We'll look at the uh, flat clear, give it lots of chance to dry naturally. I'm not going to force it with a heat gun. Um, yeah, thanks for watching everybody. And all being well, we're going to see you tomorrow.